Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to, uh, Stranger of Sword City. So, we can go back to the dungeon. How do I go to the map again? Map. There we go. We've got several entrances. We'll go for the closer one. We got that new shortcut, though. Not entirely sure if it's actually going to protect us against, um, most encounters, just because there's the harder groups. I don't even know. Anyway, I've been fiddling with some settings, and, oh, there are random encounters out here. Not very strong ones, admittedly, but still. Alright, whatever. Uh, let's see. See, these guys in the back can only... Uh, can only attack. That's probably for the... Uh, that's probably fine. I'll see if I can get them to get, uh, like, bows or something. Oh, right, they've got those, like, wand things. We should see what those do. Because, you know... It seems like it would be kind of important. Anyway, what the... I guess there's more to this dungeon than I thought. Should we notice something? Okay. Seems like you can ambush in here. Oh, it's an ambush room. Uh, can't go there. Can go here. Let's see. So we've got this. We might as well ambush. Oh, right. We don't need to investigate. Uh, yeah, we might as well ambush here. Let's see. Dude has disappeared. Ambushing. And what do we get? Oh. Well, this is easy enough. Fight. Okay. So we make the first move. So, unfortunately, we don't have any new special attacks yet. Which kind of sucks, but whatever. Okay, you don't have anything. I want to try something. Use... Okay, so he's got a curing wand equipped. If I use that, and if... Does he just have a magic wand? Yes. Okay. Oh. So that's what that does. Alright. You know what? Let's quickly bop out of the dungeon and bop back in. And try that again. Because, apparently, that's what that does. Well, I guess now I know. So yeah, we need to get them the better magic wand that does the fire move. Okay. Oh, I have to go back to town to get it to work. Well, I guess we are not ambushing anything there. I'd say it sucks, but it really doesn't matter so much. Anyway, treasure box lies before me, but looks like someone is dragging it, but they gave up on it. Open it. Dude reaches out for the treasure box, but suddenly... Huh? Who are you guys? The box suddenly speaks out, and its arms and legs pop out. Hmm? I don't like your look. You're a treasure-hunting ruffian. Hmm? What's that? I'm right, aren't I? Uh, yep, that's right. Haha! <laughs> it's just like I said. I'm the Chief of Mimics. My mate, my name is Mumik. Greedy adventurers are my friends. I hope we can be allies forever. What I'm saying is that I love unique items. If I don't get any to eat, I get shakes and twitches. So, if you have a unique item, why not give it to me? I'll eat it with pleasure. Huh? What's up with that look? Don't get me wrong, they're only compensation for you guys. Listen, unique items are special items you can find in this world. Which means if you get one, you'll never find another. But, if the Chief of Mimic eats it, that's a whole nother story. The last item I eat will be gone. Oh, the item I eat will be gone, but it will reappear somewhere else. Aha! You get another another shot to find it. But whether you find it again depends on your luck. I see. What's up with that weak reaction, you ignorant scoundrel? Listen, if you understand, uh, you'll understand if you try it in a labyrinth. You may find the same equipment, but the stats change every time. Consider it destiny. You'll find lots of equipment, so use the ones you like. But unique items are different. You can only find one. But if I eat it, you'll get another chance to find it again. Which means you can repeat this until you find the stats you want. You'll thank me one day. Oh, I almost forgot. I have to teach the new mimics how to use the teleporter. I'll be lurking in the labyrinth, so we'll meet again somewhere. Alright, see you again. Suddenly, Mumik dashes away at incredible speed. Alrighty then. Well, he's... That was a thing. Let's see, so we've got... A random encounter, sort of. Okay. We've been ambushed. Evaded the enemy. Ambush. So we've got Skullcap A. Well, honestly, there's not much I can do here. So I guess let's just wail on them. The only concern is, of course, these guys are a higher level. And I can't seem to hit them for anything. Oh, sweet monkey Jesus. Uh, let's see. No. Divinity. Flash escape. Yes. 
Okay. So here's what we do. First, is she getting experience for this? She is. Okay. We're probably fine. Enemy account. What are these things? Mysterious Shadow A. Well, I'm going to have her defend. He's going to fight. 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 Item. Use. Curing Wand. Her. I haven't... I don't really know what that does yet. Okay, the Mysterious Shadows don't die. Okay, and she gets her HP back. So it looks like the wands are use items that you can use uh, to get you extra attacks for your casters. I guess we'll do that in the future. Okay. Let's see. Item. Use. Curing Wand. Yeah, it didn't cost any mana or anything, so I should be able to use it as much as I want. Oops. Seven or eight. I have no idea what seven or eight means. Oh, that's the log. That's not very useful. I guess we can use our mouse here. Oh, curing wand. I see. Yeah, so if I wanted to, I could actually do... I could use my mouse for, like, all of this. I kind of prefer a controller, though. But yeah, so now we have a, uh, a means of healing in battle that doesn't use up all my cleric's mana. That's actually pretty dang handy. Okay. So I'm just gonna wail on them for the time being. But, this does mean I should get my, my wizard some kind of fire wand. Because getting a fire wand, well, that should solve my he-just-sits-around-doing-nothing-problem. And um, that'll solve it nicely enough. Alright, so we get one level up. So party member... Bebek. Equipment mastery level up. There we go. Okay, so Pi is piety. I'm not really sure which points to put into. It seems like agility is kind of useful. I don't really know what to do with dancers. Light blades, special weapons, light armors, two items at once, three consecutive attacks on an enemy. Wait. He has tri-step? Tri How does that work? I'll have to take a look at that one. Okay. Talent, intuition, and... Yeah, the problem is I don't exactly know what a lot of these stats do. Uh, which I'd say is a bit hard, but I guess it doesn't matter too much. Anyway, let's explore the rest of the labyrinth that was not fil filled with uh, horror monsters that completely ruined me. Oh, hey, we got a pretty object. Neat. Does unfortunately kind of feel like the uh, difficulty scaling on this game is a little bit on the skewed side, which kind of sucks. So let's do. Let's see if we can get one more random encounter, then we'll do an ambush room. Then I'm not entirely sure what I want to do. Right, yeah, I figured. It's going to be a dead end. So this is useless. I'm really curious how this would work with keyboard and mouse. I guess I can rebind the keys. We'll find out in a second. Okay, well, there's nothing else for me to do in this direction, so let's go back. I mean, we can try and fight the skeletons again. Maybe they just don't take, um, melee damage. Interesting question. Maybe I have to use, like, a holy... Oh, they're immortal, aren't they? I bet if I did holy weapon, I'd actually do damage to them. Seems like a reasonable option. Okay, there we go. This is a uh, much larger group than I thought I was going to be running into. Okay, well, when in doubt, beat the tart of them. Oh, let's see, and these guys still don't have anything useful, but we can heal now without fear of running out of mana. Ow. Okay. Fight, item, use, key items, change set. Oh. I take it back, apparently his wand is now cursed. How? I really wish they'd actually properly explain some of these things, but whatever. Okay. So this is a large group. Skill, magic weapon, no spell. Firebolt, ice bolt. Let's do a firebolt on one of these guys. Okay. So this is a pretty rough group to run across. 
We'll probably be fine. Problem is all the healers. Don't like them. Okay, so we're gonna fight. See if we can take out the Quincy. Let's do spell, cure, stab in, spell, firebolt, Quincy. Apply. Hopefully we kill her on this round. Okay, there we go. One of them ran away. Good to know. Okay, so fight, 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 fight. We don't need healing immediately. And I'm gonna save my mana a bit. I really wish there was like a camp action or something that you could do. And he summons his own goblin allies. Well, this is fine. But yeah, I, I wish there was like a, a stop mid... mid dungeon and heal. Especially so we can get our MP back. Maybe there's a way of getting it back along the way, but I don't know. Anyway, I haven't taken too many hits. We should be okay. The one thing is I might consider switching out uh, my dancer for another... Uh, switching out my dancer for another cleric. Having two clerics, especially for like extended dungeon stays, might not actually be a bad move. Considering the game's current limitations. Alright, let's just wail on him. Spell, cure, a shibi, and defend. Okay. Oh. I wonder if the healing only applies to... Whoops. I wonder if healing only applies to the guys in the same row. That actually makes a lot of sense. I'm, I'm talking about when we're walking around in the party. That auto-heal ability. Luckily, enemies have completely garbage accuracy. Well, we got at least one level up, so member... We just level up? I just leveled up. Okay. Dude leveled up. We get another stat. Honestly, probably going to keep putting points into strength for the time being. Learned Hammer Soul. Okay, what's Hammer Soul? Check learn skill. Hammer Soul, what's it do? Equip, ham equip hammers. Okay. I don't know what uh, plus creatures means at the end of this one. So, oh, I see how it works. So at level six, we learn chivalric sword, iron defense, skill token, dark chivalry, secret defense, and light chivalry. And then after a certain point, we'll want to switch skills. I get ya. Unfortunately, I don't know how to stock skill or anything like that. Anyway, let's try... No, it's really strange. I only heal very certain party members. I'm kind of confused about this, honestly. Well, you know what? Let's turn around. We've still got a fair amount of MP. Let's set up an ambush in here. Okay, who is it? We should be fine this time around. Okay, so obviously we won't have everybody pile onto this sucker for the time being. Skill, you've got... Concentrate. Use skills. I'm going to try that, seeing as he doesn't do much anyway. See, he doesn't have any spells. He can't apparently fight. Item, use... We've also got, like, a small flame vial that I can chuck at them. Otherwise, there's the cursed wand, which I guess I can't use, and a magic wand, but that's, um... I think smoke. So I think for the time being we'll just defend, and he's gonna do fire bolt on the Hydra. Okay. Okay, the Hydra's resting. Unfortunately, now it moves to the back, which is a bit rougher. Honestly, worst comes to worst, we just get the experience for this, but I would like the treasure. Okay. So, I see how this works. Oh, we can do a tri-step on, on him. Cool. And firebolt on this. Perfect. Okay, unfortunately we're probably not going to kill the baby dra. But I'm hoping I can kill the hydra somewhere along the way. Okay, and it dodged the attack. I knocked it out. Well, that was interesting. Okay, so Tri-Step is actually way better than I thought it was going to be. Honestly, fast apply, let's repeat. Alright, cool, we took him out. Oh, I'm not entirely sure if it's... Oh. 
So I can keep doing tri-step now. Now that I, I effectively charged up my dancer. I get it now. No, I don't. But yeah, he can knock things out, and he does a fair amount of damage. Okay, not replacing the dancer after all. So, get a little bit of experience, some blood gems, and treasure box. What's it got? Needle? It's got uh, two shields in it. Neat. So obviously, we can't do anything with this place anymore. That's fine. I'm still kind of confused as to why my uh, party members aren't healing here. Like, I'm really curious, and I don't really have much of an option. So we could... Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Party, spell, Deo, cure, her. We're gonna give... We're gonna give this another stab. Give another stab at this. This time around, we're not gonna be ambushed. There's nothing I can do. Can't do hiding. Huh, interesting. So that's how that works. Or, more per se, doesn't. Anyway, we're not gonna get ambushed this time around, I think. Oh, and it's also, there's no skeleton, skeletons. Alright, so I guess... My... Concern was unwarranted. It's just baby dress and those, like, weird pixie grig things. Yeah, I don't know why the main character and the samurai are the only ones healing here. Not like it really matters too much. It's just a confusion. Alright. Do tri-step and then defend across the board. Just in case we run, get, run into something a little bit harder. There's such a ridiculous combo thing that the dancer has. I love it, but I also don't understand it. Wait. Oh, you're gonna concentrate again. Oh, is it because it died? That might make sense. I don't know. Okay. O honestly, this almost feels like one of those games that would be best with uh, some kind of strategy guide, as, as loath as I am to say that sort of thing. Just so I'd understand the exact mechanics I'm working with here. I guess I could probably look it up. There we go. I Yeah, I don't know. I don't get it. Whatever. Doesn't matter. We're making money here. We got stuff. Okay, we've got this. I guess that's the last of the map. So we've made it out of the dungeon? Oh yeah, I forgot the other thing I, I, I should probably mention. I actually changed the portraiture. There's Type A and Type B. So for the PC re-release, and they might have re-released this on PS4 too. Uh, they actually had somebody go do a bunch more portraits for the main plot characters. And I switched over to it just because I felt like these characters have a little bit more personality to them, even if they are a little bit more generic anime. Um, uh, but it makes me think of something closer to either, you know, Final Fantasy Tactics or Fire Emblem. And I kind of liked that a little bit more than the original kind of gritty Korean MMO looking stuff. Anyway, over here, dude. Since you got here, you pass. So... Let's get to the anticipated task for completion. Let's see. First, take this. It's the Wanted Lineages. It lists wanted lineage types. In the Strangers Guild, we gather info on lineage types. We compile all of that information and give it to new members. The list is sorted by Labyrinth. New entries will be handled by those who go to a new Labyrinth. If you want to know more, make sure to check the list. Check info, party member, member, there we go doesn't matter check info and it'll be there i'll give you one more tip some lineage types can't be encountered by walking around in the list you can find info about these particular creatures if you can't find one try reading the list for a clue might be a bit early to tell you luckily the lineage types here has already been uh, the lineage type here has already been located nice luckily we saved some time here the target is cursing souls found at the plane's crash site Yes, the same machine you were in. Anyway, investigate up ahead until you get to the dead end. There should be a pathway leading toward the wreckage. If you have any doubts, head back. After all, it's a lineage type waiting for you out there. Alright, I'm going. I'll pray for you. Wanted 
lineages updated. Cursing souls and one other squirming mandible. Alright, so let's wander around for a bit. Be nice if there's a shortcut. Pretty object. Okay, so we've got... One enemy group. We're not injured, so we should be okay. Okay, what are these guys called? Ah, scavengers. Alright, should just be able to plow through them, no problem. Skill, concentrate, can't fight, so defend and defend. Okay. Yeah, we should be able to just plow right through the scavengers, no problem. Okay. Now, let's see. Investigating the trap. Get that out of here. Alright. I'm... But hi. This is a group of enemies. I I really do like the uh, the art in this game. It looks nice. I'm kind of curious what the like end game stuff looks like. Unfortunately, I have to concentrate again to get his abilities. Really wish the dancer had like a maybe. Yeah, it would be kind of neat if the dancer had the ability to um, had the ability to. Oh shoot, these guys are higher level. Uh, the dancer had the ability to recover abilities, like MP for everybody else. Ow. Okay, skill. We could do trick. We could try doing a double heal. It's not a bad idea. Kind of want to save it. Chances are we're not going to get attacked by two, so I'm going to have him defend. You're going to do cure on the bail. And you're going to defend. Okay. I'm not sure who hit us with the fireball here. But uh, they need to die horribly. Cure. Bebek. Defend. Okay. There we go. This should, this should work. Ow. Problem is, we have kind of terrible accuracy. Oh, right. Fight. We have terrible accuracy against some of these guys. Uh, which is kind of rough to work with. But I do want to save my MP as much as possible. Because we do have a boss fight coming up ahead. Uh, let's see. Spell. We haven't gotten hit yet, so let's just have both of them defend for the time being. Okay. Luckily, I think this is the guy with the fireballs. Oh, my accuracy is so bad, though. Okay, there we go. We take him out, and we didn't take any hits. Good, and we get several level up, level ups to work with. I wonder if that gets me max, uh, extra MP. Probably not. Okay, so who's maxed out? Hideo. Level up. Okay, so he's got very high piety. Let's do that now. Yes. Okay, that increases his HP and his MP. And he learned Holy One and Multi-Cure. Cool. Mastery, Magic Skill. Okay, check, learn, skill. So, holy one. Learn cure, multi-cure, cure poison, hit, and avoid. Special weapon. Let's see, spell. So, multi-cure. Recover all allies, HP, effect, increases with level, cure poison, fair enough. Talent, fortunate. Alright. Oh, lower chance of being ambushed. Neat. Uh, let's see. And Labelle. Level up. I'm just... Probably gonna throw in an intelligence. Might not be a bad idea to put a little bit into uh, vitality, come to think of it. Okay, multi slow. And who's the last one? Uh, Ashibi, my fighter. Level up, what she got? Yeah, I'm probably just gonna throw it into strength for the time being. Learn por polearm soul. Okay, cool. Well, we're doing okay on levels, we're doing okay character wise. I'm feeling mostly confident here. What's this? A glowing butterfly flutters by. What do you want to do? Take the butterfly, kill the butterfly. Take it. Dude touches the butterfly's wings softly. Oh. We, uh, we apparently left. Okay, we had a curing wand, a pretty stone, and a couple of bucklers. Oh, that might be useful, actually. I... Didn't expect this to happen. All right, first and foremost, member dude. Let's do equipment. Uh, let's see, offhand. Leather buckler. Alternatively, we have a buckler plus one or buckler plus three. Let's give him the buckler plus one. 
Buckler plus three, and we don't have any. Yeah, she takes more hits than dude, and has less HP. Also, as far as I've heard, uh, the main character can't actually lose all their life points. Because I think that just kicks you out of the game or something, I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, uh, let's see. Oh right, I want to check, Hideo. So you have the curing wand. Uh, can I switch a magic wand for another magic wand? No. So I guess they have a limited number of uses before you can't use them anymore in a dungeon. Oh, that's fine. Uh, so let's pop back to the Stranger's Guild, go to the shop. Okay, I'm not entirely sure if I like the new design for the dwarf. I don't know. I Like, I like the art style for both. I just liked this one because it's a little bit cartoonier. Okay, well, whatever. How much money do I have? Not much. Let's see. Let's sell trade items. What else do we have here? I mean, I got a magic wand I can sell for barely anything. Not much here. Alright, fine. I guess, let's go back to the Stranger Guild for just one second. Let's system, let's save. Uh, let's do this. And let's go actually fight the boss. Presumably it's a boss. Stranger base, mo metal. Yes. So we have to now blitz through that entire dungeon, which we've already done. Luckily, we're not going to mess around with anything. We've got all of our stuff back. So I guess this is okay. Just a bit frustrating. Fast apply. Okay. It looks like it remembers... It looks like it remembers my, um... My commands from battle to battle. So I'm probably just gonna fast apply through a number of these basic fights until we run into something that at least, you know, gives me some pause. Though if we're lucky, we can just zip through this really quick. Because honestly, I'm not a big fan of just waiting around so long. Okay. Oh. Whoa, really? Huh! Begin the battle, is that okay? Fast apply. Okay. So let's just fast apply through combat here. I mean, it's just basic. It's just basic goblins. They're hardly a concern. So apparently, I can counter an ambush with uh, divinity, but I apparently can also go to the map and let's see where were we? We were here. I can do auto move. Well, this is kind of incredibly useful, actually. Like it's a little goofy, but at the same time, like. That's useful for a dungeon crawler like this, and... You... kidding me. Alright. We're probably okay. It's so weird. Like, half my party auto-heals and the other half doesn't, and I have no idea why. Well, I think I'll have my cleric, now that we're here. Party, spell, Hideo. Actually, what if I do multi-cure? It's about the same cost, price. Alright, I'll take it. So now let's try that again. Map. Is there a, there is a hole now. So let's go over here. This is really neat. Sort of. I mean, it feels a little goofy. But at the same time, I really wish that hole was actually, like, marked. Alright, oh, what are we up against? Oh, it's just these guys. Hardly a concern. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of convenience to this game, which surprises me a little bit. Okay, uh, Stabbin. Level up. Stabbin levels up. Might not be a bad idea to put a point into agility. I'm probably gonna aim for 20 strength, and we'll do that. Medium armor, soul, and slash one. Let's take a look at slash one. Skill? Check, learn, skill. Slash one. Attack an enemy row. Attack lower slightly. S range weapons become... M. Oh, interesting. So I can... I get, like, longer range, too. Okay, still. That's useful cl for clearing out groups of enemies. 
Which is, I mean, I'm not going to say is always going to be a concern, but still. Uh, for a game that throws so many enemies at me, being able to attack a whole row seems like a good idea, and it doesn't cost me anything, so why not? Uh, let's see. So just keep fighting, I guess. And we're good. All right. This works great. I don't think there's a cost for skills. It'd be kind of nice if they leveled up on their own, but still. Okay. This is totally an ambush room. Might not be a terrible idea. Let's do it. These usually aren't too hard. We can always run. Oh yeah, this is easy enough. Okay, so skill slash... Yeah, you know what we'll... Oh. Apparently not enough range. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just aim for him for the time being. Actually, def not defend. Skill, concentrate, fight. I'm not... I really don't entirely know how the back row guys get to attack. Unless he's considered front row, and that's how we're able to hit. Okay. So he's moved to the back row. That's fine. We can probably clear this row pretty fast. Anyway, let's do a tri-step on the Goblin King. Defend and spell Firebolt on the Goblin King. Apply. Okay. Yeah, because I don't want to waste too much mana here. But if I can knock the Goblin King out... Or kill him. Or bring him to the front. Okay. Oh, he's casting Cure on himself. Well, that's fine. Fight. 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 Uh, can I do it again? Nope, can't do it again. I'm really curious exactly how any of these things work. Oh, the reason why my back party members can attack on ambushes is because they're all within range. Like, it's a bonus for the ambush. That makes sense. Alright, what do we get? No traps, and we get a bunch of bows and a rare sling. Nice. Okay, so let's do identify. Okay, I guess we suck at identification. Well, that's fine. An odd object. Whatever. Um, yeah, I was hoping I'd be able to get one of those slings. Or the, uh... I was hoping I'd get something from it. Oops. That's the way I... Uh, that would let me, um... Uh, equip onto onto one of my casters and use as a ranged attack. Okay, oh, it's just a basic, basic goblin for the time being. They have terrible accuracy, which is totally fine for me. Okay, so what do we got down here? Well, that's a random way up. Ceiling up ahead has collapsed and there's a cable dangling. You can get up from here, do I want to climb up? No. So that might be the way for the Airplane. So let's see if I can get a shortcut first. Because this might actually be... Okay, door shut tight. Let's see if we can open it up. Door doesn't seem to open. Let's check the map. Well, I guess we only have one option. Maybe that's, uh... Uh, for a continuation of the dungeon. Oh, boy. Okay, uh, you know what? I think this is a reasonable flash, es flash escape. Uh, those skeletons messed me up the last time. Yeah, this seems a little bit more possible. Okay, slash, fight, fight. Uh, let's see, not defend. Skill, concentrate, defend, defend. There we go. Okay. So we should be okay here. It's a larger group, but it's not that big of a deal. Let's see, skill, tri-step, there we go. And the rest will be fine. And it looks like the guys in the back are more kind of support buffers than, um... Buffers, nope, they are the ones... They are the ones that cast Fireball. I was wondering who were, who were the guys that had that capacity. And we found them. So spell, cure, bail, 
and defend. Okay, get him back up to full. Yeah, ideally we take we take out this initial one. Unfortunately, they are they have high avoidance, and that kind of sucks. We'll probably, I mean, we'll be fine. Just annoying. Okay. I do kind of wish it would show it a little bit more obviously who is doing these attacks. Because I've got, um, you know, like if the portrait like popped up a bit when they're using their skill. Because honestly I'm not paying full attention to who's doing what here. And that would be kind of nice. Okay, spell, cure, labale again, and defend. These guys have a stupid amount of HP. Then again, it's more just they're... Very good at dodging. Oh, they're also quote-unquote level 22. That concerns me a lot. Because my guys are only level, like level 4s and 5s and stuff like that. We're probably fine. I'm going to do another cure on the bale. I'm not entirely sure on the status of the fireballs from these guys, but they can do in the 40s. Okay, so we'll do slash, fight, fight, skill. Let's just do fight, and we'll defend from here. I know I guess I could use fireball. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Okay. So we're not too... We're somewhat injured, but luckily it's the characters that specifically have the capacity for healing themselves. I really don't entirely know why. It's the first two members and the cleric. I'm not going to question it too hard. Maybe it's a trinket or something. Anyway, let's climb up the let's climb up the cable. Uh, if we need to do healing anyway, we can have the cleric do a multi heal. Dude climbs the walls of the rune with the cable. You step out from between the rocks to where the moon shines through. You stand in the plane's wreckage. The cabin broke open on impact. There are no signs of survivors. Butterflies rest on the wreck, wings glowing mysteriously. When suddenly, a flying beast attacks from the shadows. Lineage appeared. Enemy encountered. So this is Cuckoo and Lily. So it's just kind of an extrapolation of what we've already got, or what we've already fought in the past. So we're not too injured. Let's do skill, concentrate. Um... I don't know if anti-immortal effects are going to do anything here. And I guess we could do like a multi-cure, but I don't know if that's going to help me too much. Okay. This is going to be the fight where nobody hits anybody for any anything. Alright, let's just fast apply repeat until something changes that requires my attention. So far, nothing requires my attention. And this is why I wasn't casting fire spells earlier. There we go. Okay. So we've got a blood crystal, 42 copper, and experience. Nice. Clothes. Good work. Looks like you did well. Yeah, I like these portraits better. They look better put into the environment. You're just like me, a chosen one. Seems like you did just fine. There's no doubting your talent. I won't bother with any assistance. Although... If I think any if I think of any advice to give, I might bother you. Good work. Your training is over. From now on, we are rivals. We will fight for the Strangers Guild. Oh yeah. Do you know what this is? Kyo takes out a bunch of wings that emit a suspicious light. Butterfly wings. Use this and you teleport outside. You can buy them from Gilius, but the stock is limited. When you have money to spend, you should buy one. For some reason, Ryu hates them and doesn't care any. Aren't you tired? from fighting that lineage type? I can take you outside with these wings if you want. Uh... Can I have one? Please do. Yeah, let's do please do. Aha, don't worry about it. This is the duty... Uh, this is a duty as your senior. Well then, let's go. 
Alright, so we got pretty object. It's just pretty stone. Bent bow plus two. Bent bow plus two. Short bow. Snake sling. A magical sling that leaves a trail. Okay. Scraps and battle cloth plus three. So we actually got some good stuff from that. So uh, it might be worth it doing grinding where we go from every ambush point uh, that we can. Huh? Oh, this is Anna from earlier. <laughs> oh, you made it without dying. Jeez, how can you say that so casually? This is just basic training. If we didn't succeed, we'd be done. Well, obviously. Whoa, you just got back, so let me tell you about identifying. Did you get an item back there? Items that you find are usually unidentified. In other words, it's unclear what it is exactly. You can't use it. So if you want to use or equip it, you have to identify it. Bringing it back to the city will automatically identify it. Party menu identify. Whoever has the highest identify it will identify the item. If you fail to identify the item, it will, may become cursed. A cursed item cannot be identified inside a labyrinth. Returning to the city automatically identifies items, even cursed ones. So there's no penalty for that. Cool. I think I covered everything. Oh, and by the by. Uh, or by the way, I don't know. Anyway, uh, the chief came back a minute ago. Chief's expecting you, dude. Go to the leader's room. I knew it. That's why she got invited. She sure found out quick. Well, you know, she's sort of like half a god. So, once you, you've you chilled, handle it. Alright, so first and foremost, we're gonna save because I will be seeing you... Eh, let's, let's overwrite, which is my first one. Let's overwrite the first one. We'll just do a three, maybe four cycle. I don't even know if I can save for more than four, come to think of it. Uh, I guess I'll test it next time, but for now, I will see you guys in the next episode of uh, Stranger of Sword City. And as always, thanks for watching.